Yo, what up, YouTube? This is the Truth Bearer One speaking, and this video is in response to Pink Elephants. Um, my take on Miss Heartbeats Black Women Jump Through Hoops for Black Men video. And uh, I first I first saw this video like a little while ago. And and then I, I recently we re we re watched it, and when I saw it again, it made me it made me really it made me really want to to add my own to add my own insight in on this on this issue, and he supplied a link to the actual blog, blog talk um, radio radio um, where they were where where she was discussing discussing the topic and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just put it up too so you know where to go and whatever I clicked on the link to the website whatever and um well and like you I did I did not watch the, I did not listen to the whole thing I was not going to sit there for two hours and, and listen to this stuff I listened to the first 10 to 15 minutes and and really I just couldn't see myself sitting there for the next hour 45 or 50 minutes li listening to that so like you I just read the synopsis of the show and I read some of the I read some of the comments at the bottom of the page I mean, I mean like once you hit once you see one show about black women talking about the, their bad relationships with black men I, I pretty much seen them all I mean, there, there's not too much difference between 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 one show and the other. Well, well anyway, I'm I'm going to read the description of the show right now because I'm going to refer my refer back to it later. So um, here's the here's the description. <clears throat> the hoop jumping starts in the teens. Young women stab their best friend in the back to get the attentions of a boy, and it goes downhill from there other young women undergo painful surgery to change their bodies change their hair and live a lifestyle they heard men like women to live all with the goal of winning the favor favor of men adult females will spend a fortune on hair and clothing shame themselves endure physically or emotionally painful sex acts and continue to suffer emotional and physical abuse all while focusing on getting or keeping some man. Black women sometimes wait years for a man to get himself together, to love her, to give her the commitment and relationship she desires. Why do black men try to use emotional withholding and judgment as a tool to control the women in their lives? The concept of dating, relationships, marriage, and how women have been deluded into thinking men are a prize to be won, discussed tonight. Uh, so that's the description. Uh -huh. uh. Um, I gotta say, man. That's a whole lot of bullshit. Seriously, it is. I mean, look at. Let's go back to the. Let's go back to the. Uh, the title, the actual title of the show. Black women jump through hoops for black men. Okay, first of all. Look at. Let's get this straight. Black women do not jump through hoops for black men. Black women jump through hoops. For their men, black women jump through hoops for their husbands, their boyfriends. They jump through hoop. Black women jump through hoops for their friend with benefits. Black black women jump through hoops for the guy they that that for the guy that they're after. You jump through hoops for your man. You jump through hoops for the man you chose to jump through hoops for. Yeah, you don't jump through hoops for black men. You know, cause the statement 
black women jump through hoops for black men, it gives off the an impression that that black women uh, got together and collectively made the decision to jump through hoops for any and all black men who whom they encounter in their life, which is bullshit. I mean, you don't jump through hoops for a man because he's black. You jump through hoops for a man because he's your man or he's the man that you want to have. Now that guy is most likely black because you're black and and naturally people most relationships um are are interracial. And people normally date and people normally date within their race the majority the overwhelming majority of the time. And that's because that's because people normally live around other people of their of their race. That's called the law of proximity. That means you are most likely to date those who are close to you and who are and the people who are close to you are usually of the same race. That's it. That's all that it means. Okay, now the thing is this. There are all, there are a whole bunch of white women who are in dysfunctional relationships with white men who jump through hoops with for these who jump through hoops for these for these men but do you ever hear white women say that white say that white women jump through hoops for white men no you don't because because of them they're not jumping through hoops for white men they're jumping they're jumping through hoops for their men who happen to be white just like you have Hispanic women who may jump who may jump through hoops for some Hispanic men, or some or Asian women who may jump through hoops for Asian men. I mean, well, it's not really about the guy's race. It's about the guy's personal relationship to that woman, to that woman, because you would do the same thing for your man regardless of his race, or I, or at least I would think you would do. I would think you would do the same thing for your for your man if he was a different race. It's just that black women are the only ones who racialize the shit. And this is something that black women have a tendency of doing. Like they have a they they have the ha y'all have the habit of taking something that is common to all women and take something that's common to all women in relationships and making it out to be some some sort of um, some sort of racial loyalty when when y'all when y'all do it with black with black men. I'm sa saying I'm saying something that is common with with with, with most with most women, and 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 when y'all and when y'all do y'all do the same things y'all add a y'all add a totally different dimension to it. Cause, cause women of other races aren't saying this, but you know what happen. But you know what happens in some, in, in some, in some relationships. In their race, they just don't. They just don't make it about the guy's race. And like, and like Pink Elephant said in his video. Um, be be. You have to be honest with yourself. Really, really, what, really, what type of men were you jumping to hoops for? Because you're not doing it just because the dude is black, man. Come on now, you know that. And you're not doing and you're not doing this for every single black guy that you come that you come across. And that's why I really don't have any more sympathy for a black woman with these sob stories about about their bad relationships with men. Because because of this. And, and I'm gonna make a bold claim here and I, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a claim and I, I admit that I don't know this for I don't know this for sure like I I didn't do any research. I didn't do any type of research or anything, but but be that as it may, I'm still very I'm I'm still very confident in the accuracy of of this statement, and um and that is this: for every black woman black woman who ended up in a relationship, who ended up in a bad relationship with a black man, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that she had that there were at least at least a dozen of of decent black men that she overlooked to get to that to get to that 
that bad to that black dude that treated her bad. And I stand by that and I stand by that statement until until proven absolutely wrong. I mean, shit. I mean, I, thought, I really believe that every black woman who's in a bad relationship with a good, with a dude that treats them wrong had the opportunity to get with to get with a decent to get with a decent black guy, but chose but chose not to because she because she didn't want because she didn't want that decent guy for whatever reason. Like because he didn't have swagger, because he didn't have like pretty eyes, because he didn't have good hair, because he wasn't light enough. What, whatever, except whatever, whatever the reason was, man. It, it, it really doesn't matter. It, whatever the reason was, it doesn't matter. The point is, you had the opportunity. All these women had the opportunity to get to get in a race with with a black man who 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 would treat them right, who would treat who would treat them who would treat them like royalty, who would probably treat them better than they actually deserve to be treated. But she preferred the guy who treated who treated her like shit. Yeah, so my sympathy card for these women has been worn out to the max. But but let me go back to the description. Let me let me let me get let me, let me elaborate on the description. Okay, okay. First couple of sentences. The hoop jumping starts in the teens. Young women stab their best friends in the back to get the attention of a boy, and it goes downhill downhill from there. Okay, now, as I can remember back in high school, and even junior high, and even long, and even further than that, and I can say this with a with a ninety five percent accuracy, and that the dudes who got who showed the least respect for females were the ones who you were the ones who usually got the most female attention. And a lot of times it was the guy who got into the most trouble at school. Or you know the the typical bad boy or the thug or the pretty boy or the pl the player or or the class clown or whoever. And these guys were usually the were usually the most desirable among among females. I mean all the time. I mean I'm not saying you had, yeah you had to you had the some some smart guy some smart guy some some good kids who who also who were also popular with females, but in my experience, those were those cases were few. In fact, so few that I could probably, I, if I that if I think long enough, I could probably remember all of them because there were so few of them. But on the other on the other hand, I can't remember. I can't really tell you. I can't remember all the disrespectful ones that got female attention because simply because there were so many of them. And a lot of females will break the neck to the view of them. So forgive me if I don't buy that victim bullshit that mo that a lot that a lot of y'all be spitting. Cause I know for a fact most of y'all knew exactly what y'all were getting into when y'all when y'all went after this guy. I mean don't don't come up here with this crap about black women jump through hoops for black men. As if all y'all just jumping through hoops for any black man that shows up. I mean, if that was the case, well, then where then where was my private group of devoted, brainwashed black woman followers fo following me around to do to do to do everything I asked and bit to my will? Where were my loyal subjects? You no, know I I didn't see them. You know why? Because I didn't have any. You know what? A lot of a lot of black men can say the same thing. You know why? Because y'all don't jump through hoops for average everyday Joe. Y'all not jumping through hoops for the average black guy. Y'all jump through. Y'all jump through. If y'all, if you are jumping through hoops, you jump through hoops for somebody who, who you, who you, who you think is exceptional. You know the pretty boy, the player, the thug, whoever. And what pisses me off the most is that when y'all, that when y'all get with these guys, and surprise, surprise, they dog you out. Then, then when y'all want someone to blame, you blame you blame the average black the average black dude you but along with the dude who did you wrong. Like, it's like you are now blaming the same the same guy that you looked over, the same guy that you ignored, but you want but you now want him to take to take to share the responsibility for what happened to you. Now you see him after the damage is done, but you didn't see him before. 